Chase Jackson, providing personal and professional vitality, founder of Energy Easy, with another book in our exciting book review series. We've given you reviews on the Bhagavad Gita, The Fountainhead, Do You by Russell Simmons, and today we are going to give a review on the book The Art of Peace by Morhe Ueshiba, who was the founder of the Japanese martial art of Aikido. And Morhei Ueshiba is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. And what turned me on kind of this book and why I really enjoyed it and why I want to give a review on it is his whole theme and focus throughout his poems, throughout his writings, throughout his calligraphy is that all life is growth, and all growth starts within us, and we can really train our mind, body, or soul to do what we want in terms of getting better and refining our craft, whatever that may be. The Art of Peace, Morhe Hueshiba Hot Sauce. Hueshiba speaks throughout the book about how all life is growth and that if we are not growing technically, mentally, physically, and spiritually, then we are dead. And I really like the concept behind that, and it really kind of adds purpose, I feel, to my day personally when I was reading that, in what do I want to do today? What do I want to accomplish? Who do I want to be? Well, according to Morhe Hueshiba, one of the great martial artists and teachers of all time, I need to focus on getting better. Getting better mentally, getting better physically, getting better, better spiritually and technically, refining my craft, art of peace, hot sauce. Another awesome theme that Hue Shiba speaks about in this book is that we have the opportunity to be grateful for our, harsh, uh, for our hardships and the challenges, troubles, obstacles, and setbacks that we face in life. And as human beings, there is no other characteristic that we look up to in others as much as the ability to overcome adversity and suffering and challenges and obstacles. But we never want those things to happen to us. And Hue Shiba puts in writing in this book that it's okay that we want them to happen to us. We want them to happen to us because that is part of how we learn and how we grow and how we get better. Don't look up to somebody who overcomes adversity and challenges and obstacles and then not be afraid of the obstacles, challenges, and adversity that you personally face. Look up to yourself. Overcome obstacles. Overcome our adversity. This book is hot sauce. Art of peace. To achieve the growth that Hue Shiba speaks about, we have to train every day. And one of my favorite ideas from this awesome book is that no matter where we are, no matter what our social economic status is, no matter what job we have, no matter what education we have, we have a chance to train in this moment and in this spot. Whether it's our mind or getting better at our craft, our job, or getting better through online learning instead of being in a private school, whatever it may be, doesn't matter. But what I really took from this book is that I can grow and I can train wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, whoever I'm with, and that's awesome. That really releases limits. Go Mori Hueshiba. This book is hot sauce. Piggybacking on that last idea of the importance of training our mind, body, and soul. Hueshiba talks about that we must be diligent and persistent and focused 
in training every day rather than looking for some kind of magic hot sauce or secret sauce or secret technique to get where we want to go. The focus is on the training itself and the enjoyment in getting better in small incremental steps rather than finding some magical end result that we do not have to work for. So Hueshiba speaks consistently about how we need to train diligently and persistently and focus on enjoying the training and enjoying the challenges and enjoying the hardships. Art of Peace. Art of Peace is a great book. Out of all the books that we've done on the book review series so far, this is number four. His ideas and teachings are definitely have resonated home with me the most, as I already kind of had uh, the same feelings and feelings and thoughts and ideas about life going in before I read it. So, Hueshaba, you and I are on the same tip, my friend. Good book. Check it out. Hueshaba will tell you that true victory is self-victory. Focus on yourself. And then you can go out and share your achievements and strengths and growth with the world. Chase Jackson, providing personal and professional vitality. Have a blessed day as I know you are.